thank Senator Murphy for being one of the handful of senators um, that are battling for the middle class, the working class. 99% of us against the rich and powerful and the lobbyists. Um, this class warfare has been going on, been waiting against us for about 30 years now. I don't know if anybody here has seen the movie Inside Job. Uh, I think it won a doc best documentary a couple years ago. Anyway, great movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Um, I have some specific issues that I'm especially outraged about. I could probably go on for close to an hour, but I know time's limited, so I'll try to quickly mention a few. Um, if you yeah. pick your top one or two. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, number one, uh, most civilized countries um, making a profit off of health care is illegal. Um, we need universal health care. We need Medicare for all. 40,000 Americans are dying every year. We have been for quite some time now. There's been a number of studies uh, proving that. Um, let's get the middle man uh, out, of the, out of the health care business, insurance industry. And I'd like to know why we're the only country in the industrial, industrialized world that has health care for profit. Um, the CEOs are making billions of dollars uh, of our health care. And what we have now is a good first step. But um, we, I haven't heard much about it lately. Um, I'd like to see more steps taken uh, to address that. And then got a couple more here. Uh, Exxon Mobil, Bank of America, other companies are paying zero dollars in federal taxes and have been for a long time. In fact, uh, instead of paying taxes, they're getting subsidies and refunds at a time when we have debt crisis and uh, budget issues, obviously, been dominating the news lately. So I'd like to know what's going to go on with that. Um, we have crumbling infrastructure. Um, I think we've, the studies that have come out, we've gotten a D minus, um, and some estimates are a little cost a trillion dollars just to get things back to the way they used to be, um, infrastructure. And then finally, Citizens United has put a spotlight on how broken our system is. Um, with the political system, basically, we have billionaires buying elections. And um, just because Obama won doesn't mean we should relax and forget that uh, people like the Koch brothers and Sheldon Adelson are buying elections. And uh, those are just a few of the issues I'm outraged about. We could have mentioned climate change, gun violence, and women's health care. But uh, uh, our system is broken and it needs to be fixed. And I'm just wondering, is there any, is there any light at the end of the tunnel? Is there any hope? Um, what can we do specifically uh, to, to address some of that? And, Thank you very much, Jeff. Right. Uh, health care, global warming, Citizens United, pick one. Uh, health care. Health care. Uh, do you all remember the debate in 2009 over public option? No. We didn't get it. <laughs> we didn't get the public, the public option, and we certainly didn't get it. There was a moment we thought we might be able to lower Medicare age, it looked like we were going to be able to lower it and cover uh, 55 up, uh, and we didn't get that, that either. Uh, there is an effort here in Oregon to take another clause that's in the health care bill and make it live, because it allows a mutual organization, which is a nonprofit structure, uh, to put a plan on the exchange. And so that's something that uh, folks are trying to see if they can seize that, that possibility, which would then be an Oregon public option, uh, if you will. Uh, the exchange will go up uh, sometime this coming year. You know what the date is? October. About October of this year. Uh, it does allow people to see the kind of the, the host of options and, and compare them as specifically what fits your family's best, but it doesn't achieve what you're uh, looking for, uh, unless there are, and there may be some, well, some of the health organizations are nonprofits who will be putting out the choices, but look for the possibility of a mutual uh, organization as well. Uh, so you, so you'd be in favor of like in Vermont, they, they're making, you probably know, they're going towards a uh, single payer. So you're in favor of Oregon maybe falling in line and then enough dominoes. So, uh, I advocated fiercely for the public option and loss. And uh, I don't know enough details about what Vermont is doing yet to say that's a great model for Oregon. I do know that uh, there's a lot of folks in the Oregon legislature who have been doing great work on health care, particularly setting up these health care cooperatives. And that is a test, too, under the Oregon health plan, under Medicaid. 
Uh, but if it works, and it's really to emphasize kind of the course of treatment rather than a uh, pay for each service structure. Anytime you have a pay for service structure, it encourages lots of services, not necessarily cost effective healthcare. Uh, so uh, these collaboratives or cooperatives uh, may uh, succeed in having a model that provides much more healthcare uh, quality and at a lower at a lower cost. I don't know how that compares to Vermont, but I'm looking forward to learning as Vermont Vermont goes forward. Do you ever do you see a time in, in the next 10, 20 years when there's is there any hope for Medicare for all a single payer system for the country or do you think that's just out of too far gone? There are four senators who voted for a single payer system as a state option. And I'm one of the four. All right. Thank you. And that's four out of a hundred, so not in the near future. <laughs> <laughs>